Hello, this is Jim and Liz today uh, at DC Digital and we're demonstrating a DC-606N network clock. It's an outdoor six inch uh, time of day clock with six digits. It's an all aluminum extruded enclosure. It comes with two junction boxes, one on the left for your network drop and ethernet input and one on the right for your power. It's 120 volt uh, AC power in. Um, it is a web-based, uh, web page-based um, network uh, interface and to set up the clock so that it will receive NTP time, there's a little bit of uh, setup and we're going to take you through that and I'm going to have Liz, Liz here to, uh, to take us through that uh, procedure. So Liz? So I'm going to go to our DC Digital website. Um, dc-digital.com and um, scroll down to the bottom click on um, blog portfolio okay we're, we're trying to find the IP address of the clock itself on our system right on our network system right yeah okay so what you're gonna do is go to um, so this is our blog page so type in network clock utilities and programs then search then it'll pull up a page, just click on that. And you're gonna be looking for the IP setup um, download I like, file. I like. So mm -hmm. it says use this download to set up a network clock's IP for DHCP or static. Click on that and it downloads. Open it up, let it run, and it'll bring up this. Um, NetBurner IP setup. This has um, all the units connected to your network. That have the NetBurner card in it, right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, so what, well, what do you want to do? How do you find it from there? So the way you find the IP address from here is um, there's going to be a MAC address on the back of the okay. um, clock. All right. And I have MAC address 0003F4 O D 1749. Mm -hmm. So you'll find that on the list and then scroll over and it gives you the IP address. Okay. So, then so in your browser, you go back to your browser, right? Yep. And type in your IP address that you found from the, uh, up the IP address lookup. The IP setup, setup. program. Mm -hmm. So then it will bring up this page. And that's our home page, right? Yep, this is the home page for the... Um, for the page, clock? Yeah. And this, it's resident on the clock. This home page resident on the network card that's within the clock, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So... Run, run through what you see there on the home page. Yeah, so on the home page, you see the NTP server address. Right now, it's connected to time.nist.gov. This is where it, um, what we connect to de by default. Okay. And then it shows you the last time it was synchronized. Um, right now, it says 12.52.55. Okay. Um, the last synchronization attempt, um, it says success, which means that um, the last time it tried to connect your clock to the... Um, an IST server, it was successful in getting an update. Okay. And then the synchronization interval is set to one minute. Um, you'll be able to change the setting in the clock settings later. So then in this section, you have the network information. Um, you can see right now the network configuration is DHCP. Then the device name is going to be DC-Digital-NTP-whatever the last four um, characters of the MAC addresses. So this one says NTP-1749, which will match the clock. And you've previously given it that name? No, this is um, what it loads by default. Okay. Um, but you can change the device name in the settings later if you like. Okay. And then all of these settings, oops, these settings here are all the um, IP address 
settings. Right now it's DHCP, which means that the router assigns these automatically. We can set it to static and assign um, any of your own custom values that you have okay. if you want. Then down here it tells you the time information. So right now we have it set to 12 hour mode, central standard time. Um, it tells you the offset for the time zone that you're set to. And then the last setting is observe daylight savings time. Right and now, enabled. Yeah. Um, right now we have enable. And okay. um, when you see the clock, we set the um, time zone to the shipping address okay. of um, where it's headed. So if it's headed to Washington, we'll set it to the um, time zone found in Washington. Yeah. So when you click on the clock settings and the network settings, mm -hmm. it'll bring up this sign-in screen. Username is just username. Okay, so you have to uh, you have to type in a username and password to gain access to change this the network settings, right? Yeah. Okay, and the default uh, settings are username and password. You just type those in, right? Yeah, all okay. lowercase, all, lowercase. all one word. Okay. Um, no special characters or anything. Okay. But um, this page is the clock settings. You can change the username and password here. And you can also change the um, server that the clock is getting time from. You can change the update interval. The update interval, you can change that to up to 1800 minutes, right? Yeah. Okay. And then you can change between 12 hour and 24 hour time. Okay. Um, you can set uh, observe daylight savings time or not. Mm -hmm. And then you can change the time zone here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then let's change this to Pacific time, hit submit. Okay, so right now we have 12, 1257 and you changed it. Okay, there it flipped to 1057. Yep. Very good, okay. And then- What's next? If you go back to the network settings, you can change the device name here and change the addressing mode between DHCP and static. Um, if you, have DHCP, you don't need to type anything into these four rows, but if you have static, you will need to um, fill these four columns out. Okay. And then back to the home page, you can see that the um, time information has now updated to Pacific Standard Time. Um, the local offset has also changed, and the last synchronization attempt. Um, was 105725 which is displayed in um, Pacific Standard Time. Right. All right, very good. Again, this is uh, a DC 606N outdoor time of day network clock. And I'm Jim and this is Liz with DC Digital. Thank you.